We are approaching Easter weekend and I would like to encourage you to make this not just another weekend and not just another Christian service, but to make this absolutely the time where you endeavor to enter into a new level of your experience of Jesus Christ as your Savior and Lord. And there's nothing better that I can recommend than that you look at this time where we celebrate the crucifixion, the burial and the resurrection of the Lord Jesus. It's the event that changed the destiny of mankind. And I encourage you that you will actually invest in this weekend to draw close to the Lord. Let Him speak to your heart. Let Him show you more about Himself and what He's done for you. Well, I would like to take actually a, a few moments and read from Isaiah 53. It's the passage in the Word of God where the prophet Isaiah predicted what actually would happen at the crucifixion and through the death of Christ. And I pray that all of this you will experience and that even for myself it will become a greater reality than ever and bear fruit in our lives. So let me read from Isaiah 53 from verse 3 onwards. Uh, it's a couple of verses, but please bear with me. It says this, speaking about Jesus, he was despised and rejected, a man of sorrow, acquainted with deepest grief. We turned our back on him and looked the other way. He was despised and we did not care, speaking about the attitude of humanity towards him. Yet it was our weaknesses he carried. It was our sorrow that weighed him down. And we thought his troubles were a punishment from God, a punishment for his own sins. But he was pierced for our rebellion, crushed for our sins. He was beaten so we could be whole. He was whipped so we could be healed. All of us like sheep have strayed away. We have left God's paths to follow our own. Yet the Lord laid on him the sin of us all. He was oppressed and treated harshly, yet he never said a word. He was led like a lamb to the slaughter, and as a sheep is silent before the shearers, he did not open his mouth. Unjustly condemned, he was led away. No one cared that he died with our descendants, that his life was cut short in midstream. But he was struck down for the rebellion of my people, God says. He, was, he had done no wrong. He had never deceived anyone, but he was buried like a criminal. He was put in a rich man's grave. But it was the Lord's good plan to crush him and cause him grief. Yet when his life is made an offering for sin, he will have many descendants. He will enjoy a long life and the Lord's good plan will prosper in his hands. When he sees all that is accomplished by his anguish, he will be satisfied. And because of his experience, my righteous servant will make it possible for many to be counted righteous and he will bear all their sin. I will give him the honors of a victorious soldier because he exposed himself to death. He was counted among the rebels. He bore the sins of many and interceded for rebels. This is a weekend and especially Good Friday of contrasts. The, the guilty uh, who is us being actually pardoned by the death of the innocent. Um, God's pain in giving His Son, bringing to us the joy of forgiveness. I pray that over this weekend, something will rise up in your heart to understand everything that Christ had done for you on the cross. Complete forgiveness. For me as a rebel, for you maybe as somebody that failed and sinned, hope that we will not be condemned, but we're forgiven and offered the chance to live. I love the portion at the end where it speaks about giving him the honors of a victorious soldier. And that is what Jesus was at the end victorious over death, hell, the devil, and then he invites you and me, come and share in my victory. I trust that this weekend, as you consider the cross, and finally the empty grave, that the victory of Jesus will be your reality, and that you will from that have new hope like never before. I trust that you will live 
apart from anything else in the joy of Christ. Lord, thank you that you paid the price for us. Thank you that death could not hold you and that you rose from the dead to intercede for us for all ways. I pray that every person that watches this video will have a new insight into what you've done for us on the cross and celebrate the victory of Christ joyfully in their lives. Thank you, Jesus. Amen.